June has been such a dry month and I know a lot of folks not only need it, you know, to help with those burn bans, but just because their yards, they look parched out there. Much needed rainfall is coming back to the forecast on Sunday, but also the chance for some storms as well. Here's your headlines for tonight. A couple of isolated storms are out there. They're behaving themselves. They've been below severe limits. That better chance for storms coming in as a cold front moves in Sunday, and I do think that this will give us a better potential to see some stronger thunderstorms with it. This is what I'm tracking. Our cold front right now is situated right around Kansas City back down towards Wichita. It'll be moving our way as we head into Sunday afternoon. Now the Storm Prediction Center does agree with me that there's enough ingredients in play where some gusty winds could be possible, especially for this area you see highlighted in this lighter green color. It's a level one on their scale of one to five includes Nashville, Murfreesboro and back across the Cumberland Plateau. As far as our threats with this, not really looking at a good tornado potential, but some gusty winds with any of those storms that can get their act together. That's what I'm most concerned with. Looking out at our sky cam right now, it has been so hot out for this Saturday. Temperatures in Nashville actually touched 99 for a high today. Looking at your power of five radars, this is that isolated activity I was talking about. Back around the Birdstown area, just north of Livingston and back over towards the Hermitage Spring area. A couple of isolated showers there. I've even been watching this shower around Old Hickory Lake in between Gallatin and down into the Mount Juliet area, just giving a little bit of light showers out to folks maybe enjoying the water on this hot day. Day. Feel like temperatures in the triple digits in Columbia and in Murfreesboro feeling like 95 in McMinnville and 96 in Hopkinsville. I want to time out our cold front coming in on Sunday looking like we'll start out dry with temperatures reaching around 90 before that front arrives. That will bring us those scattered showers and storms through the evening hours, potentially lasting into Monday morning. Now, as far as how much rain we are going to get, that's the big question everybody wants to know around an inch. I think is possible. Possible, maybe higher totals with any of those stronger storms that come through behind it, though, we will see much better conditions highs only in the 80s Emily by Monday.